Stephanie, say hi. Don't say hi to the vlog. I hate my face. Okay. Hi, Bethany. Hi, vlog. I'm Bethany. Then I can see me. Well, you can't see Where are we at? I'm answering my own question. Okay. So, what's your name? When I tell you like Harry Potter, Oreo College, you don't know, take pan around, pan around, arrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is long. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait. That's too tight. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the RA really struggled. Can I get the idea of where we are? Yes, yeah, so we're going to start soon. I think he's getting ready. He's like, yeah, so we're just gonna worship tonight. Don't know what's We're just gonna go into a small moment of discussion just to start today's session. Even as we progress into a small time of worship and praise, and then we progress into the words for today. So we really do expect today's event to be finished by ten past nine latest. So yeah, we're definitely gonna stick to time here. And we, once again, we believe and trust God that this will be a blessed time. A time for you to connect with God, a time for you to hear from the Holy Spirit. So, just in today's first discussion, I just want us to go into four groups, if that's alright, based on where we are now. And we're going to talk about the topic of freedom. And by freedom, we're going to talk about what does it mean to you to be free? And what, in terms of your relationship with God, or in terms of Christ Jesus, or in terms of the Bible, what connotations come with freedom? What notions do you associate with freedom? how could we live a free life in Christ? So if we can go into groups of four, if we can, wherever we are, and we're just going to discuss that, and if by the end of the group, if you can come up with one spokesperson for each group, then which will feed back to us all. Again, we're discussing the idea of what is freedom, what does it mean to you, what does it mean in terms of physical or spiritual freedom, how does it relate to the Bible, how does it relate to Christ Jesus? And then from there, if you can have one spokesperson, which will feed back to the general audience, and we'll go from there. Is that cool? Right, so if you can go into groups of four, so we'll pass Okay, um, so we spoke about a few things. Um, the first thing we said, so freedom is like you're free, like from the word free, so you're able to do what you want. And then we carried on about that, talking about, yeah, we're free to do things, so we all have free will, but there's certain limitations because we're not doing things the way everyone else is doing things. So yes, we're in the world, um, but we're not of the world, so we are doing things but to a certain extent, does that make sense? And we also talked about becoming what God wants us to be. Like, God gave up his son for us so we can be free from sin. And we need to be believing that with our whole heart and our body and our soul and our mind. And um, we're all slaves to sin, so we're free from that. And we also talked about the Israelites, how they were free from slavery and bondage. And it's possible to be a child of God and be oppressed from the devil and we talked about freedom from fear as well. Um, Joseph was free from his brothers because um, they were so mean and horrible to him. He was in the ditch and then um, he had that time to like self-reflect and then when he became a king, he was able to like forgive them and move on. So he was free from that part of his life. Mm. And then we talked about living our life based on, not, based on other people's opinions. So we're not free because we're constantly thinking about what are people are going to think of us? Oh, if I, should I wear this? Should I talk like this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Um, so we constantly have people's opinions in our minds. We should only think about what God thinks of us. Thinks of us. And then we talked about faith, like who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. And we need to believe that we are free. Believe in our freedom and exercise it. Thank you. Mm. That's really interesting. Many quotes which you brought there. And one thing which I also want to pick up on as well is you mentioned Joseph, and I think that's a really something which we should look at in this situation of freedom because we noticed that the moment he stepped out of his own slavery there was elevation there was promotion in his life and we really have that faith that even as god brings us out of our own bondages and even slavery today that at the end of it will come promotions and our own elevations in our own way but it's for us to have faith in that process and something which you said which is very interesting too as well is which we sort of grew up in that group is that even though we are free in christ jesus it comes with limitations and the idea of if you look at those two words of freedom and limitations, they look like opposites. But I'm sure as we will understand throughout today's session that, you know what, they are an opposite, but they work hand in hand. Mm. All because, yes, we serve Christ Jesus, who is the model who we can look after and run after. And finally, you mentioned fear, which I'm sure some of us, maybe when we think of freedom or shackles, we think of 
maybe a physical chain around our wrists, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't recognize that something like fear is that shackle, spiritual shackle around our wrists. So that's holding us back. Maybe holding us back in the position of evangelism. Maybe holding us back in the position of maybe write, writing us, maybe writing a message to a friend or uh, an encouraging word to a friend because you're fearful of how people may perceive it. So thank you for that. And again, once again, on having our mind that if you feel fear is something which you're battling in terms of a bondage over your life now that look forward that even in this session that God will surely free you from that bondage, amen? Amen. So yeah, finally, last one. Stop making me happy. 
and just postponing the doom's die. When it matters most, when time shall be no more, when I slip into eternity, what will be truth? What will be freedom? Mm. You see, so only truth can set us free. What is freedom? Freedom is an enablement. When you say you are free, you've been enabled, you've been assisted by God. It's an enablement to live the lifestyle God wants for us. The Bible reveals that before the creation of the world, before time began, God loved us. As you know, if not the help of God, if your brother is going to struggle in life because of the way they are going, isn't it? Even as a human being, you can project, isn't it? But what you do, you pray for them. So don't find an offense with God for knowing that now we sin. Do it, do it, go ahead. Hey guys, so we have finished our session. Yeah, that's my session slash preacher. So basically, the preacher came, gave a word. That was him still. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. For Thank you. Yeah, he gave a word on what freedom is. Like, gave some really insightful mm. points that you wouldn't fully deep it yeah, until he told you like, yeah kind of things yeah but it was a good night now we're just like right, thank you very much everyone thank, thank you each other because that's what we do in it good good yeah yeah, yeah. Right. hey 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 Same. and it's gonna be my book sure okay it's gonna go up on youtube do you mind do you mind oh no oh okay i'm like okay i'll put the camera down okay wait introduce yourself i'm ella <laughs> No, that's you as well. Bro! And... <laughs> oh, okay. How did you find the service? I think it was great. I yeah. think it's what I needed to hear. Yeah. Especially being a student. And we're, in a, a, we're amongst people who are, who are non-believers, basically. So it was good to kind of hear us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's good, it's good. I think it was... I think it was good to hear someone tell us. You know, like, when you're in uni, you're not here for no reason. <laughs> Okay. I think today was awesome and we got to hear good, we got to hear really powerful, it was simple words but it was very powerful mm -hmm. and I, I, I personally learned a lot, you know, because we're students, we're amongst, most of the time we're amongst, we are amongst non-believers, so I think it's very important for someone to reassure us that just because you're a student in uni and you might be away from family, that doesn't mean you need to forget who you are because because as because we've accepted Christ, we have a light in us. So when we're walking, you know, Christ is within us. So we basically need to show people, yeah, I'm a Christian and I'm different. And I think it was awesome to hear how you don't have to be a fear. You don't need to fear anyone. Yeah. As we've been taught in the Bible, God didn't actually tell us to fear anyone. When you got Christ in you, you don't need to fear anyone. The only person you need to fear is God. So I think it was very important that today really taught not really me but everyone that came here today so i think it was it was excellent and i would come again never failing all things are working for my good it's intentional never it's failing isn't it Okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Okay, cool. So my name's Anthony. Um, I go to the University of Oxford. I study material science. I go to St. Catherine's College there as well. So what did you do last week, Tuesday? Cool. So last week, Tuesday, I hosted an event which was entitled Night of Freedom, in which a guest pastor came down from Luton, um, the Hope from the Nations Ministries as the church that she represents. And yeah, it was just a time and space for us discuss the concept of freedom, especially in the Christianity scene as well, because it's something which sometimes we overlook and we may fall into bondage without us realising. So I definitely feel like it's an opportunity for us to resonate with the time and the freedom, but also have an opportunity to pray about it afterwards. Okay. So well, how did the preparation go and everything? I can't lie, I mean, the devil's really trying it. Like, yeah. I was running around trying to find a room, I was getting rejections here and there. It's something which 
I'd had in my heart to do since maybe like February this year, but I just thank God that in the process, persistence paid off. And that through it all, I could give him all the glory because I believe it was a blessed event for those who attended.